Teddy and I are outside the New York Stock Exchange with Teddy. Who is this? So this is called Coid right now, and uh, Coid is our G1 Ultimate Robot. Uh, this is like developed for education by Unitree. Um, we're the official distributor of Unitree in the United States, RoboStore, and what do you want to know? Well, first of all, what is the process of building and constructing one of these? So these come just like you see it now, right out of the box. Um, but the beauty is this is fully programmable. There's an NVIDIA computer inside this, and you can basically start to do research and development of anything you want. So it kind of opens up the entire exploratory of robotics and seeing where this goes. So this is like, think of it having a computer, now you can code and start to do stuff with. Absolutely. That's really what this is, in the robotic form. And right off camera, you got a colleague here who's actually controlling it. What does the yep. control mechanism look like and what are some of the really cool things that this robot can do that you're most in favor of? What's so up, bud? Out of the box, it's gonna be controlled just like this, like an RC. Think of like an RC car, but a robot. But this can go fully autonomous. There's a LiDAR system in here, a camera system that shows depth cameras. Yeah. And people can attach whatever they want to. We have webcams that go on the top. People put backpacks with other computer systems. But in theory, this can go fully autonomous. So this has all the capabilities of doing that. Who is this robot for? So right now, our biggest clients are going to be schools, universities, and we build out a curriculum system to teach kids how to code, yeah. how to develop on robotics, and basically how to push the barrier of robotics. And that's like our main clientele. We also have bigger clients on the corporate side, a lot of names um, that uh, are looking into robotics and figuring out what we can do and trying to get a standpoint of like where robotics are right now. All and right. This is like your kind of open source robot. Okay, interesting. How much does this retail for? If I'm a school, I'm a university, or I'm just someone with a little bit of extra cash to burn, yeah. and I look at this thing and I was like, this is sweet, I want one for myself. What am I looking at? So on the G1 series, they start about $21,000. Uh, this unit is considered the EDU Plus with its hands, which we have in the case, it's about 67,900. Um, and this is like the fully loaded version of the G1. It's got wrist control, it's got arm control, it's got a different waist that allows to move differently, and there's also dexterous hands that we put on it. But Ooh. for right now, we're just using rubber hands since we're walking around the streets. All right, right on. What is your favorite feature that this thing can do? Um, we set up a teleoperation feature where we can actually be the robot, and basically you're watching the robot mimic yourself. So you can walk around the office, go go on the computer, and the robot's doing it, but you're in like goggles. So we use like an app in Apple Vision goggle, and we actually are inside the robot's head, which is really cool. What are some of the kind of more personal favorite use cases you have or you've seen clients use it in really cool inventive ways or a way that maybe you haven't quite yet seen someone use it that you think could be a really cool way to apply this type of technology. Yeah, so just before this, we were on a call with someone who's looking to uh, have us in their hotel to greet guests and give like a whole understanding of where the bathroom is, the hotel, the spa, the gym. And we're working with a team called Open Mind. Um, and they're actually building a backpack on this that allows them AI capability. So we can have a conversation or remember you and say, JD, like I met you before, and here's the bathroom, it's over here. So we'll actually start remembering stuff and having that human interaction with the computer. So I think it was like ChatGPT, but now you're actually having a robot stand there, talk to you, have some memory, and then eventually we're trying to get it so it's reacting to what you're saying. So we're, a lot of development going on. Yeah, tell me a bit about the crowd reaction because we're here outside the New York Stock Exchange every day. I've never seen quite this many people that are lined up with their phones. They love this. They're waving, everyone wave hello to the robot, my man here. What does this reaction tell you about people's kind of creativity and the inventiveness when people see this type of technology? Well, it's crazy. It's like now people are seeing a humanoid out there and I think everyone thought this was science fiction. So there's only a couple hundred in the United States, so it's rare to see them. Right, most of them are in universities and the people with the budget to buy them, but I'm sure, you know, we get crowds all the time with this. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, finally, what is your favorite part about where this technology is and where do you most hope it could be tomorrow? So every day it gets better. So even the walking every day gets better. So like as it updates and have over the air updates, the hardware on this is above where the software is. So this is gonna keep getting better from a platform. So it doesn't need to be keeping upgraded. Think of it as like a Tesla when you got your Tesla in 2015, they said self-driving. Well, it wasn't out until years later. Sure. So this kind of has the same capability of doing more than it, than it does right now. So even the last three months, the walking's got better. It has more like pre-programmed features and it's starting to do stuff like having a chat GPT built in where it can start having conversations and move forward, move back to my commands. Yeah, really can cool. it ever. All right, my man. Well, thank you very much for being here.
Okay, again, I got to wave goodbye for the interview. Thanks for being here. Thank you all for being here. One more time here for the rope bomber, guys. Teddy, thanks for doing this, man. Great to have you here. Bye, see ya. Oh, he's running out of here. Was the interview that bad he's got to run away now? Oh, man.